Good day, hypertextures in all your variety. This is Kix Condor, and today I want to talk about Beaker Browser. I want to talk about forking in Be Beaker Browser specifically, but I need to demonstrate to you some arcane magic. What this team is doing is crazy, and this is coming together in a, in a fantastic way. And I would be remiss if I didn't introduce you to the doorway. Now, you might feel some disappointment that Beaker does not have the anonymity and encryption features that you feel you need, and I'm desperately sorry about that. I do think that it caters more to the uh, wonderment of beginners and opening possibilities to everyday users that they have never had, had access to, and it's, it's, it's very exciting. Uh, okay, so one of the issues with Beaker has been that it lacks multi-writer support in its previous beta as well. And one of the issues was that if you had a page, for example, this is my profile, and I can edit it, it's hosted here on my computer, and uh, my microblog that is in here with a bunch of my markdown files, and it's jolly well that I can edit my page from this device, but if I go to another machine, I'm going to discover that none of these files can be written to, and that I have to create a separate profile on that device, and that because the private key is only stored on one device. So this poses an issue, and people have been asking for some time about what is the status of multi-writer, and it's pretty much been it's also been a, a big deal for me personally. I totally understand this. One thing I was looking at, though, was some tweets that Paul Frazzi made on Plan 9 Union Mounts. And the concept here is that you would use uh, drives, separate drives and separate devices, and then combine them together into a single view of those drives. Now, this is kind of detailed or technical that I want to get into in this video, but I do want to say that there are some options that I think are perfectly sound, and I'm using them on a wiki project right now, and it's working well. But I want to talk about a simpler way of forking and merging changes if you want to edit from another device. So here I have this profile here, and if I want to make a fork of it, it's a matter of creating a new fork, and this is just going to be a local fork here. And it's going to make a complete copy of that drive, and now you can see I'm on the local fork. It looks identical. Uh, it has a separate address, and it's also listed here, so I have access to the original and to the local. But what I really want to do, though, is edit it from another device. And so I've created on another machine, this, this hyperdrive, and I did the same thing on that machine. I went in, created a fork, called it local, and it's listed there. You can see now that this drive is a fork of that original drive. That's my profile. But you'll see that it doesn't list the other forks, the local fork, and so on. That's because I'm not, I'm not hosting this. So this is the trick that isn't really covered in any of the documentation, I don't think, I don't know. If I host the drive, it will give me an option to save the fork. So I can say this is on my staircase PC, and now it's listed as a fork, and if I go in here, I can even see my local fork, the original, the staircase, all of it, okay? And in fact, I did make a post on that machine that's not, uh, that's not listed on my local drive. So what I can do is hit diff merge with original, it shows this change that has been made, and it will allow me to just merge it into the original drive. And so, yeah, if I do that, there it is. Here's the fork, here's my profile. I will say that there are some performance issues, definitely, but they're uh, 
they're, they're trying to pack a lot of functionality in here, so I'm, I'm not concerned about that at all. And so yeah, now you see, here I am on the profile, it shows the updated post from the fork, and now I've been able to merge my changes in from the other device. So this is a great way of just doing a simplified, uh, yeah, peer-to-peer, multi-writer hyperdrive. And, or, yeah, just, just a website that you can edit from multiple locations and host from those browsers. And it has the added benefit of of being listed, you're, you're hosting all of these forks from all those browsers. So uh, it's, it's also a great way of seeding your browser from multi lo multiple locations. One beautiful thing I think about the new Beaker is that they separated out the, uh, the hosting into like a system tray component. And so your computer is always hosting the drives that it doesn't matter whether the browser is open. Is, is the key. Anyway, um, I do feel like these qualities too will go away and that the focus on trying to make it an appealing platform first is key to drawing everyone in and to creating a community and then to um, enhancing it with these capabilities that are more importing, important to, to niche groups eventually to the platform as a whole.